Hello and a very warm welcome to Bharata First. You're watching FRP Explains. I'm Frank Rausen Pereira. Since you're here, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and share the content as well so that more people get to know about Bharata First. Well, an incident has come to light uh, from Bihar where an IES officer who was addressing 9th and 10th standard female students of a school got into some kind of an argument, some kind of a situation with the girls there. So one of the girls who was present uh, on the occasion was asking the IAS officer Harjot Kaur Bhamra who also happens to be the head of Bihar's Women and Child Development Corporation. She was asked uh, if it was possible for the government to provide sanitary napkins at a cost of 20 rupees to which there was a snarky retort by uh, Ms. Bamra. In fact, she in fact, uh, went on to say that uh, why should anything be given for free? Uh, there will be a time then when you will ask for free jeans, free family planning and so on and so forth. There are a couple of things here. One, uh, the tone in which the officer is speaking. Secondly, equating sanitary napkins to jeans and family planning and uh, a sense of what do you call it because the lack of a better word i will say superiority in tone while answering to the students questions uh, that is what is in question here and i have a problem with generally the topic that she has touched she is speaking about freebies as a whole and how freebies are not good as far as the society is concerned is a very valid point that she is making but the way the issue was addressed could have been done very differently let's not forget also that there are over 400 welfare schemes of the government to look into several things right from um, you know food to health to several other social sector uh, issues where the government has schemes so why not have this as well it's a very valid question by the student who was present there and the way it was addressed as a whole by the officer is a problem and for those of you who haven't seen the video and uh, you know need to get a better understanding of exactly what i'm talking about here is the actual video it's about a one minute video clip of the question and answer uh, that is going on between the student and the IAS officer. Take a look. My name is Riya Kumari and I have come from Nehru Nagar, Patna. As for everything, the government is also given to us. As for Posaak, Chhatra, Birti, so what does this mean to us? We have to give this $20 and $30. Okay, this is the case. इस मांग का कोई अंत है बीस रूपये और तीस रूपए का इस पर भी दे सकते हैं कल को जीन पैंट भी दे सकते हैं परसों को सुंदर जूते क्यों नहीं दे सकते हैं नर्सों को क्यों नहीं कर सकते हैं और अंत में जब परिवार नियोजन की बात आएगी तो निरोध भी मुफ्त में ही देना पड़ेगा है ना सब कुछ मुफ्त में लेने के लिए जो सरकार की हित में जो सरकार को देना चाहिए वो सरकार से लेने के लिए तुमको जरूरत क्या है अपने आप अपने को इतना संपन्न करो सरकार को उसके लिए छोड़ो जिनके लिए एकदम भी कुछ नहीं होगा तब तक कैसे होगा मैम क्या मतलब छोटा बच्चा है वो जब तुम लोग छोटी बच्ची हो मान लो हम छोटी नहीं है बाकी जो है हमारे पीछे है तो सरकार की बहुत सी योजनाएं हैं लेकिन ये जो सोच है ना कि सरकार हमें बीस रूपये तीस रूपये नहीं दे सकती है ये सोच गलत है सरकार बहुत कुछ दे रही है और बहुत जगह बहुत हो रहा है कितना अच्छा है क्या वोट लेने के लिए आती है तो उस टाइम नहीं है अच्छा मत तो तुम वोट सरकार तुम्हारी है बेवकूफी की इंतहा है नहीं नहीं मत तो तुम वोट बन जाओ पाकिस्तान मैं हम हिंदुस्तान में तो पाकिस्तान में क्यों जाए तो फिर वोट का क्या महत्व है और वोट तुम पैसे के एवज में देती हो सुविधाओं के एवज में देती हो जब वोट लेने आते हैं सो दिस इज वॉट happened really as far as this incident is concerned uh, and uh, the several issues that I have raised as far as this particular interaction. I'd like to know what you think. You know, I believe honestly, uh, we need better training as far as the IES officers are concerned because bureaucrats come in contact with uh, such kind of issues on a daily basis. And these are real issues, real issues of people on the ground and 
the indian bureaucrats are in place to serve the people at the end of the day and when the people have a genuine question that is being asked they need to take it up in the right spirit and in the right way so probably some kind of training needs to be put in place for ias officers to better handle situations like this and better deal with situations like this it shouldn't come from a place of superiority or it shouldn't come from a place of privilege because you might be privileged but the people that you are supposed to serve and the people that you must be serving on the ground the citizens of this country most of them are not a privileged lot and the sensitivities of the issues attached need to be dealt with in the right manner that's what i feel as far as this issue is concerned let me know your thoughts as well about this particular issue now you can do that by commenting in the or making your suggestions in the comment section below in the meantime there was another incident that took place in uh, lucknow there was an accident in lakimpur khiri in which several people were injured some of them very critically and many others uh, killed as well when a private bus rammed into another vehicle now uh, the ias officer who was in charge there happened to be at, uh, visiting one of the hospitals where the victims was were admitted and one of the victims was a young boy who was writhing in pain on the hospital bed and the officer who was present there uh, you know her name is roshan chekap she uh, was literally brought to tears and you could see a sense of uh, belonging a sense of wanting to do something in that situation she is seen speaking on the phone immediately trying to address the issue as best as she possibly can wiping off um, tears as well because she was brought to tears looking at the incident and the suffering of the boy that was another incident that took place uh, elsewhere of course a lot of empathy and a lot of sympathy shown there i wish as a whole uh, the indian bureaucracy follows that path where we can empathize with the people on the ground with those who really need the help rather than sitting in a place of privilege well that's it in this edition of frp explains let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you for all the support that you've shown over the last uh, few months and thank you for all the comments that you've been pouring in in the other videos as well see you again next time but before i leave let me not forget to remind you to like the video subscribe hit the bell icon and share the content as well so that more people get to know about bharata first this is not just my platform this is our platform let's make it grow Thank you.